what will be the impact of automation on technical writing on the content creation this is what i am going to discuss today in this 10 minutes video i am rahul karan professional technical writer from last 12 years, 12 years now well, let's discuss what is the impact or what can be the impact what we should do as a technical writer to automate our work so that we can thrive in the IT industry much more better way than we are doing today. I have created a few presentations for you and I'm trying to gaze, I'm trying to share my own experience and I'm trying to share my own knowledge and all my own acumen, my own experience regarding this. Somebody else can have a different view on automation. But being a technical writer and a scrum master, I firmly believe that we should automate our work as much as possible. And uh, we should not shy away from automation. Uh, we should actually try to find out what we can automate. Otherwise, it will become a history very soon. So this is Rahul Kern, a technical documentation creation automation webinar. And I'm also a founder of uh, Information Developer Foundation, which is a first Indian non-for-profit for technical writers and all the information developers, in fact. So the agenda is today To clear myth and fear around automation because sometimes technical writers are also worried that a job will exist or not content creation will be automated so what they will do and a lot of myth and uh, fake thing are, are around technical writing automation so i will try to uh, clear your mind what is automation and how it will impact us and how we should go ahead with that so first, let's understand what is automation. So what is automation? What is automation? Is it a new thing or is it a buzzword? No, automation is always there in the world around us. We always try to automate whatever uh, a repeated task or a task which we don't find a very suitable or which task we don't want to do repetitive task, I bother those kind of work, we don't want to do, we try to automate it. One classic example is ATM machine. We all remember the days when ATM machine was not there. So what is automation? Let's go to the Wikipedia. And Wikipedia says automation is a technology by which a process or procedure is performed with minimum human assistance. So human don't want to do that, right? Uh, human don't want to take a draft and give a check and give a cash to the uh, Customers every time uh, the bankers have to do that. So they what we did, what we did, we come up with the ATM machine, machine take a card and the cash against it. So that's one of the examples, but a lot of examples are there in and around. It's not in IT automation is not only in IT. It is uh, in every field, be it mechanical engineer, civil engineering, anything. Uh, we try to automate the thing. We try to reduce the labor, human labor. So that we can, human can do much better work where they can think, where they can apply logic. So automation is to make or make process or procedure with minimum human assistance. So we have to identify what work we are doing in the office or what we are being paid. Can we automate those tasks? Can we automate those work? In fact, job cannot be automated, task can be automated. So, if I believe anything and most of the things can be automated, so content creation is also one of the tasks which can be automated. And it's not new. It's uh, almost from a decade now, a lot of work is going on automation of content creation. And uh, I have taken this example from content marketing a website where they have given this classic examples about uh, Quill can generate new stories in 
according to the report, Quill is a name given to a software which generate a lot of contents for the uh, company for uh, publishing a house. Same thing like with the Washington Post. They have also published, they have also developed an in house a bot, you can say bot or robot, whatever, called Heligra, which write content for them. And effectively, they are doing it. Similarly, you can see AP, they have produced 3,700 stories from chatbot, from, not chatbot, sorry, from a bot. Same stories with, with Los Angeles Times. These are the firms which produce a lot of contents. Their business is a content. They are a publishing house. Uh, they produce a lot of stories, news, newsletters, PRs. So then they need a lot of contents. So instead of hire that many content writers, they think that why not to automate the content writing procedure. So how they did this? Again, you can Google it. A lot of things are there. So definitely content creation, automating the content creation is not new. If you think it is new and it cannot be possible, you are highly mistaken. Go and look at this kind of examples around you. So what is the benefit of content uh, automation? Why we all want to go and uh, why we go going behind? Everybody is going crazy about automation. You can take examples from manual testing and automation testing. So normally in automation testing, we try to automate those test cases, which is not required human intervention and machine can do that repeatedly. Like every release, every build, we have to do the same test. Why humans would do that? So they write a script for that using the other different tools, say like email, etc., And uh, they make the procedure easy for a tester. So it's a one-time effort. After that, they don't have to worry about uh, testing. So a lot of manual efforts are reduced there. So that's one of the greatest benefit which I have seen in the IT industry about automation. So that gives you faster delivery. This is the world of agile. We want to deliver within a sprint. So you cannot deliver within a sprint if your test cases are not automated. It's a very difficult for you. So automation is required. And when your testing is Came going automated by the documentation. If you think you can do a lot of automation in your documentation process and work. So no more monotonous task. Like every time a developer don't have to go and make a build and do the same testing repeatedly and it's become really boring for them and monotonous for them. So now those testers can do much better things. They can now, uh, they, can, they are not free for uh, better roles. The same thing with the writers also. So writers, if you do the monitors work, like formatting, aspect checks and all, a lot of things which you can automate, then you will have a lot of time to understand the product, to explore the product, to contribute in the product development. A lot of things you, where you can pro, where you can use your brain, where you can use your logic to do a lot of more productive work rather than doing more monitors work, which machine can do. So automation and empowering the automation. Automating and empowering the automation. In fact, to what extent you are automating it, how much your automation is uh, effective and efficient, that is also a matter of concern. Nowadays, by using AI, ML, machine learning, and a lot of other things are there. Uh, we call it cognitive automation. By And uh, it takes... Uh, a lot of things into consideration before doing the automation. So now automation and is also very smart. Our automation is also very effective. So you can say like natural language, real-time computing, uh, machine learning, a lot of things are there, big data, analytics. So all these things are those, all these things help to automate the to automate process making more effective. Now your automation is not just uh, like uh, very uh, basic your automation is now also become very smart very effective so now you can by using a lot of techniques like natural language like um, ai so you can make machine learning you can make your automation much more better and effective so what we should do what we should do as a writer 
uh, as a as a technical writer to in this automation world see the fact is that we also have to deliver within a sprint we are not the exception if you want to be exception very soon you will be out of the business so time this is the era of continuous integration continuous deployment continuous release you have to hit the market fast and it's hit it hard so undoubtedly you need automation undoubtedly you need the help of machine to help you right so rather than sleeping rather than uh, thinking that automation is not going to impact my work try to learn try to understand what processes what procedures what work what task you can automate don't run away with it right look into automate look toward automation as your friend like automation will give you the chance to work on much more productive way it will help you to get rid of monotonous work which you don't want to do okay. so look at automation in that way and try to identify by yourself what you can automate it's not that always you need a machine to do that you can automate your processes also okay this will need change your mindset this will may need to change your tools technologies to that but automate if you will not do automate you will not able to deliver within the sprint if you want to deliver within the sprint automate it as much as possible i have uh, probably not done the video a lot of videos uh, i'm planning to do uh, uh, in and around this how to automate and what to automate and what should be the future authoring tool or this should be authoring tool or development tool to write software documentation so a lot of things uh, to think for automation and what will be automated and what will not be automated in technical writing will again depends on the project you are doing it will depends on the kind of product you have uh, the kind of tool we are using but yes uh, we can definitely automate a lot of things even we can automate the processes the way you have seen that the content creation is automated in the marketing world content marketing world in the news and the social media contents are now automated so i don't see any reason why uh, automation of technical document cannot be done especially api documentation where we can write from directly from the code uh, these notes and of course each and everything can be cannot be automated but can its process can be enhanced and prove uh, improved and we have to continuously think what we can automate what should be automated and one thing which cannot be automated is human thinking human brain is still which i think so try to focus on the work which needs which are where you apply your mind which needs logical thinking need a human touch emotions so those things cannot be automated and empathy cannot be input, uh, input uh, it cannot be uh, automated so apart from these things try to automate whatever is possible uh, around you how you think think how must uh, how you should think this will be autom automated or not talk with your developers testers friends uh, attend webinars uh, read newspapers articles regarding automation and you will have a very clear idea what need to be automated what not need to be automated and i will say suggest you uh, you can go and read a lot of uh, use cases how how uh, this company have uh, automated how this company have uh, created this kind of bot what kind of uh, information they have feed to this bot so that they, they can write effectively okay so like uh, i what i think that these bots must have we have a grammar check there inside the style guides must be given to them uh, language knowledge must be with this bot right so you will have to feed them you will have to teach the machine machine will learn right machine learning will learn. so this is the way you can uh, develop uh, automation in your uh, culture of automation in your organization so this is from my side whole takeaway is do not run away from the automation try to identify the processes uh, procedures 
tools, change the tools if required to automate your work. Automate, automate, automate. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, read the blogs. We have a lot of things to offer. Hope to see you there soon. Bye bye.